Sam here from Sheridan Computers. Welcome back to our tech channel where we dive into the latest tech updates, reviews and tutorials. If you are new here, make sure that you hit the subscribe and the bell icon to keep in the loop with our content. Um, today we've got a special episode for you. We managed to get our hands on the um, SpaceX's Starlink internet kit. Um, that's right, Elon Musk's high-speed internet service is finally in the UK and we're going to take a first look at it. Sheridan Computers. IT, communications, support. So the weight of this box is 9 kilograms, apparently. So let's see if we can get it open. Take a look inside. So it is well packed. We have the feet. And the dish itself. Okay, so the components in the box are Starlink router. We have the dish. This dish has a 75 foot lead, so that's give or take 20 meters. Uh, we need the stamp for the dish. So the assembly is pretty straightforward. There's grooves on the inside, so which way to push it in. So we're going that way around. And that just clips in as such. To get it off, there's a switch, if you can see it on the back. Now if you press that in, you can wiggle the stand off. It's a bit of a pain, but it does come off <coughs> like so. So, we do want that. So, pull that in place, get rid of the box. So to connect the dish to the router, we need to do that with a cable that comes out of the back of the dish. Now this cable is a bit of a strange shape if you can see that. So when you're uh, mounting that, either drilling through the floor or through the wall, whichever way you're going to do it, this doesn't, yeah that's going to be a bit of a tight spot through so you need quite a hole to get that free by the looks of things let's plug that in it literally just slots in on the bottom have the power lead for the router now we can go ahead and plug that in Okay, that's plugged in. We've got a little power light that's come on on the bottom. There are no LEDs or anything on the front of the router. Um, the dish is mechanical, um, so moving it by hand is a bad idea because you're likely to break the dish. Um, but it should automatically find the best spot itself. Um, obviously you don't want any obstructions, no trees or anything in the way. Uh, this is not the ideal situation for us to be doing it, but this is just a test kit. So this is a standard kit as you buy it. Uh, it doesn't come with an Ethernet adapter, um, so you've got no way to connect up to a router or anything. So if you're going to want to plug it in the router, you're going to need an Ethernet adapter, um, which we're going to do in the next video. So we'll be connecting up to PFSense. Once we've got the Ethernet adapter, we can config configure this in bypass mode, um, which will basically allow us to uh, just grab the one IP straight on the, our router. Um, but we'll cover that in the next video. 
So this should align itself. And there we go, it's now looking for best spot. It seems to be happy that it's found a spot. So with that, we should be ready to uh, set it up with the app. Okay, so we've got the uh, Starlink app open on our phone. So we want to start the setup. It's going to ask us which dish we've got. So we've got the standard dish. Firm. Find an location. Next. Uh... Get off. So at this point you need to uh, create your network name, so we're just going to call this uh, SCL Starlink, give it a password. No, go ahead. So reconnect to Wi Fi using your password. Have to wait for the Starlink to appear. And there it is. Take our password back in and connect. Instead not going to be available. Always connect. Do we have internet? Okay, so we're now showing connected. So it reads us online. Um, obviously, you can do obstruction tests. It says calibrating connection. So um, see if we do actually have internet. Uh, speed. Cloudflare.com. See what we get out of it. Okay, so the speed's showing like 77 meg, uh, which is the fastest I've had here. Um, upload's showing 10. The latency is 46, so for VoIP, anything up to 150 should be fine. Um, Jitter's 9.32, so again for VoIP, that should be um, should be away with anything up to like 30. It's now at 124 meg. Um, this is not mounted on a pole or anything yet, so we've still got to go ahead and do that, which will be part two of the video, but um, yeah, that's Starlink set up and running so far. So I'll come ahead and once we've got it mounted and stuff, I'll do the video of us mounting it and then we'll um, go ahead and do a speed test and see what we get out of it, because at the moment it's sat between two caravans, which is not the ideal location.